Today's lesson is over the first part of the first learning target in this unit on interpreting functions and notation. By the end of this learning target, you should be able to say that I can represent relations and interpret graphs of relations. We will start with some vocabulary for this learning target. An ordered pair gives the exact location of a point, which is written in the form of x, y. x represents the location of the point in regards to the x-axis. y represents the location of the point in regards to the y-axis. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. On the next slide, we will show the first way we can represent relations, which is by using a mapping. First, we must talk about what a domain and range is. A domain is all the x-coordinates in a relation. A range is all the y-coordinates in a relation. To represent a relation using a mapping, you first need to create vertical rectangles or ovals and label the left one as the domain or D, then label the right one as the range or R. Then list all your x coordinates in the domain oval from smallest at the top to the largest at the bottom. Do the same for your y coordinates in the range oval. Use arrows to connect your x's to their respective y's. So 2 goes to 7, 3 goes to negative 2, and 4 goes to the 0. Next, we can represent a relation using a table. Make a rectangular box with a line drawn vertically down the middle, then draw horizontal lines until you get the number of rows that is required for your given relation. In the first row, write x in the first column and y in the second column. Put each ordered pair in a row where the x goes in the first column and the y goes in the second column. So for this example, 2 would go across from 7, 3 from negative 2, and 4 to 0. The last way to represent a relation is by using a graph. Start at the origin 0, 0 for each point and graph each point by following the ordered pair values to plot your point. Remember that when we start at the origin, going right is a positive x value, going left is a negative x value, going up is a positive y value, and going down is a negative y value. Don't forget to labor your points. So the first point we'll graph is 4, 2, comma 7. Uh, 2 is our x value. So starting at the origin, we go right 2 units along the x-axis. Then 7 is our y value. So from where we left off on the x-axis, we will go up 7 in regards to the y-axis. We will plot a point where we are at and then label it. For the point 3, comma, negative 2, 3 is our x value this time. Start at the origin and go right 3 because 3 is positive. Then from there, go down 2 because 2 is negative. Plot and label your point.
for the point 4 comma 0, 4 is our x value. Start at the origin and go right 4 because 4 is positive. Our y value is 0, so we will not go up or down. Therefore, we are at our point's location. Plot and label your point. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Thanks for watching.